Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna get into some Resident Evil 2 remake demo uh, gameplay. So I'm just gonna go through the settings now. Using a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Opti for DirectX 11, it is faster. And I'll show you a little demonstration of that if I can. So, FXAA and TAA combination. I, everything's pretty much maxed out. You guys can check out the settings as I scroll through. It's just a little bit too much to comment on, but there is a lot of settings in this game, which is nice to see. So they've put a bit of effort in. Put my OSD back up. So anyone that's wondering, um, the software I'm using to monitor my in-game statistics on the left-hand side of the screen, that is called MSI Afterburner. I do have... Hello? Is anybody here? I do have HW Info monitoring my graphics card's power draw and CPU uh, power draw as well. CPU voltage, should I say. So uh, there is a slight tweak there, but apart from that, it's mainly MSI Afterburner. There has to be someone here. Not good. David! Marvin! You there? I found a way out! It's in here! Send reinforcements! East hallway! I gotta find that guy. So I've never I've never played Resident Evil 2 before, so I can't really speak on how good the remake looks compared to the original version, but we're talking about the PlayStation era, so yes, it's probably a thousand times better. It looks pretty good for today's standards. I reckon the game looks very, very good. And um I'm looking forward to playing the full game when it comes out. So the demo is only 30 minutes, it is online. So I didn't have time to do too much gameplay, but um it's definitely worth picking up if you want to see how the game feels before you buy it and just to see how it runs on your system. And there is a lot of blood down here. This is definitely one of those games that does look amazing in 4K because pretty much all the details just jumping out at you. Um, it's hard to describe, but you don't miss anything, to put it that way. And I'm playing this on a big 43-inch 4K screen. It just looks awesome. Try and see what's in here. Yeah, these guys have been dead a long time. Gonna stack up on as much ammo as I can because you know some of these zombies are like bullet sponges. You can shoot them seven times in the head and they still come after you. So this was obviously the press room. Get the hell out of here. Nothing much left. I'm happy to report the controls are way better than uh, Resident Evil 5 was for PC. That was clunky as hell. Um, Resident Evil 7, I believe it was 7, the last one I played was good. Controls weren't bad. I really enjoyed that game. not the way you want to go. Yeah, you're dead, man. You're not making it. I'm just trying to wonder what the hell did that zombie do to him, because he's clean pulled off the bottom of his torso and just completely ripped it off. 
That would have took some strength. So I see some kind of clue to a puzzle or something, so I'll need to refer to that a bit later, probably. He's out there. That just kind of surprised me. I should have stepped back and shoot him again for good measure because I know what these zombies are like. Yeah, it's kicking off now. Getting very, very good performance though. Um, definitely way above 60 FPS, which is good. So a single RTX 2080 Ti definitely can play this game at 4K, but so far we have been in corridor um, scenarios, so maybe there are times when we're in something a bit more open and performance may be a bit more demanding, but we'll see. So far it's looking very, very good. Jesus! They're everywhere! Son of a bitch. Yeah, they've done, they've done a good job with this, the way they've just got a dark corridor. You've just got the flashlight and then zombies just come out of nowhere. So there is that anticipation you're going to get attacked. So that's a, that the feeling is there, so they've done a decent job with that. Don't know what that is, but it might come in handy. Well, it's always welcome. Okay, how is this guy still alive? After I shot him five times Shit. in the head. Oh, man. Didn't I kill this guy? I really need to start making sure these guys are dead before I walk off now. What the? I could have sworn this guy was dead. This has popped back up somehow. One more for good measure. They've got to be dead now. Okay, try and find a way out here. Nothing left in here for me to get. What is this place, like a police station or something? I'm guessing it is. Another off strike. I couldn't. I couldn't. Here. Core's barely being utilized on this game. I9 basically at idle. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Hmm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, 
uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. You need to tell me twice. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's not gonna make it. He's done. He knows he's done. Anyway, guys, that was a bit of Resident Evil 2 remake. Um, looking very good. I've already got the game, so I'm looking forward to playing it when it's finally released. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.